Ahoy mateys! Welcome back to me channel. Can you guess what game we be talking about on this fine winter's moon? Sorry, I'll stop talking like that. It's Sea of Thieves. A few years back, this game was the business. Everybody was talking about it. And I mean, can you blame them? Who doesn't want to live out their dream of sailing the seven seas with your boys? Giant sea monsters, mysterious buried treasure, and what pirate adventure doesn't include a few sea shanties here and there? Way, hey, roll and go! Our boots and our clothes, boys are all in the pond to me. This game continues to expand and bring in new players day by day. So that's why today we're talking about all that and more as I review Sea of Thieves. Right off the bat, some of you may be wondering, what even is Sea of Thieves? Well first off, if you couldn't tell already, it's a game about having your very own pirate voyages. Sail the seven seas with your friends, or just take in the beautiful ocean views by yourself. Adventure uncharted islands, uncover buried treasure, and best of all, take on other crews in high velocity marine battles. This game promises a swashbuckling good time, so let's get into it. When it comes to gameplay, the developers at Rare kept things fairly simple so it's easy to pick up and go wild. You're kitted out with a sword, pistol, and a few other bits and bobs to ensure you're prepared for anything that the Great Sea will throw at you. It's also important to mention that pretty much every item you'll need on your journey is given to you right out of the gate, which is a great way to balance new players with the seasoned veterans. Of course, further down the line you can unlock some cosmetics for your sea dog, but I honestly love that they didn't feature any severe upgrades that could make new players overpowered towards new sailors. I understand it works for some multiplayer games, but having everybody share an equal advantage from the beginning just works great for this game. So once you figure out how everything functions, it's time for the fun part. Everybody gets their very own ship in Sea of Thieves. Each of these ships has a captain's quarters, a storage room, a watchtower, a helm with a steering wheel, cannons, and best of all, your very own walking plank. All the boxes are checked, you've got everything that you need to take on any obstacle in your path. But the coolest part is how you get the ship moving. Everything is manual. You gotta lower the sails, raise the anchor, and take lead at the helm of the ship. Doing all of these steps to get moving never grows old, especially when you have the help of your friends. This is no easy task by yourself, so act like a captain and force your buddies into manual labor while you sit back and relax. Somebody steps out of line, throw them into the brig for a while and let them think about what they've done. Still acting up? Make that shark bait walk the plank. The sea is a cruel mistress and she doesn't take any excuses. Multiplayer is truly where this game shines the brightest. But if you have some time to yourself, Sea of Thieves is nice enough to make the workload easy for you by giving you a smaller ship. It's not as impressive as a full cruise ship, but it does the job. Anyways, now that we've got those basics out of the way, let me take you on a journey through what the experience will be like in Sea of Thieves. Being able to sail around and make your own pirate tale is fun and all, but not having any direction is no way to fill your pockets with gold. Luckily, there are plenty of quest lines called voyages to partake in. In these voyages, you'll be doing a number of things. Sometimes you need to explore entire islands to find buried treasure protected by the spirits of its previous owners. Sometimes you gotta bring home a pet chicken. I have no clue what they plan to do to you, but I might just pull a baby Yoda and keep you to myself just to be safe. Completing the objective is only half the battle though. Now that you have your treasure stashed on your ship, you pretty much have a big old target on your head. Bringing home your rewards is a treacherous task because there are so many ways that this can go downhill. Pirate groups made up of other players can swoop in on ships of their own, and man these battles are intense. Fire the cannons, patch up any holes in the lower deck, and when there are no other options left, it's time to board their ship and take them on hand to hand. This is what the game was always meant to be, and experiencing climatic battles like these firsthand is always unforgettable. They don't always end up the way you expect though. Because as Qui-Gon warned us all, There's always a bigger fish. Working together is your only option here. Because if you can't put your differences aside, you're all doomed for Davy Jones' locker. I love one-of-a-kind interactions like this so much. After your victory and a small celebration, it's time to part ways and complete your voyage. Wow man, if this didn't hook you, I don't know what will. Very rarely are there multiplayer games that function this well, but Sea of Thieves knocks it out of the park. As much as I love to gush about this game, like anything, it has its shortcomings. Of course, the main point of Sea of Thieves is to make your own adventures, but I wish there was a bit more to do during voyages. Fighting skeletons on a deserted island is cool and all, but it feels like the progression of sailing to a treasure and then bringing it back is quite repetitive. 
even with all of the ever-changing variables. This is justified by the fact that there are no load screens in the open sea itself, but it still takes a solid 10 minutes sometimes to get into a game with your friends. Regardless of these aspects, I still love this game. As a kid, I loved the story of Peter Pan, and my favorite part of the whole thing was the pirates, so being able to experience all of that in a game would blow little me's mind. In the end, Sea of Thieves is a very simple game with a ton of possibilities. Even with its shortcomings, the Great Sea is wonderful to explore, and multiplayer has never worked so well. So for that, I'm going to give Sea of Thieves a 7 out of 10. By the way, thanks so much for the support on my channel recently. It's been incredible and it means a ton to me that you guys like my videos. From the start, my goal has always been to share the games I love with you guys, in hopes that maybe you'll give them a shot too. So if you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. I promise I won't let you down. Our goal is to hit 200 of you by March, so if you want to help me out, I would appreciate that. Anyways, keep gaming to the fullest, and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya!